good. That's good. Yeah, that looks fine. No, but, I like it. Wait, wait a minute. I got this continue. Wait a minute. Okay. Now, see, I brought it up too high. Yeah. And then I put put it here. Now I can't erase this. So, what's what? Yeah, but you can paint over it. You could use um, you could use your paint and paint over it. Yeah, I, and, didn't know, I didn't know whether the paint would work on this. That's why I was asking you. Yeah, you can paint on that, or you could collage over it. You could put um, you know, you could cut find some big colors. You can use construction paper to collage over top of that. You could use pictures from a magazine to collage over top of that. Um, even just cut, uh, even your jelly plate prints. I really wanted you guys to try to use the jelly plate prints, you know, in your collages. So you could cut, um, you know, a couple pieces off of one of the jelly plates and put them um, like a triangle, right? It's just basically a triangle, Ruby, that goes up that space. But maybe the buildings in the front are are so big that you don't need um, a vantage point. You know what I mean? Maybe you just want a sidewalk in the front, and you can just put another building there and just get rid of that road. I think I made made the building too too big. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. You can just leave them like that and just make another building behind them, and they'll just be like your a frontal view. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah, then it could just be like a, you know, block, like you're standing in front of them with just a different vantage point. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, awesome. All right, so did anybody think about, has anybody incorporated any human beings into this work or physical or bodies or physical or people, portraits or people? I did, I did it with, with my son, but then it didn't come out right. And and then I covered the face, but I showed one of his eyes. Leah, can you see this? Yeah, hang on. Let me say, oh yeah, Wait a oh, I like that. This, this was a picture of him. Oh yeah. Um, so I didn't think you wanted the whole face, so I covered it and just showed his eyes. And oh his yeah, yeah, I see it now, yep, I love it. Oh, I, I love it, that, that looks a lot like the collages that I just showed. Did you just see my slideshow? Mm -hmm. That looks a lot like the the collages. The only difference is that in the collages that I showed, there was a lot of what I would call solid color space. And this is something that I've been trying to use a lot in my own work where I have busy things, but then I have empty space too, right? Mm -hmm. So if you, some, has anybody ever made a collage and then painted over part of the collage? Yeah. Well, you can add another layer, right? So once you have a collage, if you want to quiet down an area, you could take those craft paints and you could paint over the collage <laughs> in solid colors to sort of bring one part, have more attention and one part be qu more quiet, right? Oh, okay. So there's never, it's like, it's never, kind of it's never over like just making the collage sometimes there's still stuff that you yeah, I tried to I tried to do a little bit of the point I don't know if you could see it hold on oh yeah that's really good vantage point yeah I like your little houses with the tree I love the tree I, I can't see it yeah it's hard to see from it's I did it in a light pencil yeah. Oh, so yeah. What are you gonna What are you gonna do with that drawing? Are you gonna turn it into a collage? I was going to. I was thinking of doing that. Yeah, I love it. I mean, you could cut pieces of paper just to the shapes that you have in there. And right, that's, what, that's a good idea. Yeah, and you could do a road between. I mean, you could just draw a straight horizon line across the across the picture and make it a color uh, paper. You know. 
or it's, no. use one of your jelly plate prints and cut it up. Yeah, I love the jelly plate prints. <laughs> I know. Has anybody been doing that on their own? I have. I did. Yeah. We did it. Look, you guys. So one of the things that I did was really helpful with my students um, is we actually did it in color and I made them do just I made them work for a long time and I made them work in specific colors. So for example, like just yellow or just red. And then basically once you've done that, you have all, you kind of make yourself your own little collage pack. So you can go, okay, here's all my purple ones, right? So here's all the, here's all the purple ones. And, and, they, and then they just, it's so freeing, right? Then they can kind of go through and go, okay, I have, here's purple. And then, okay, here's blue. And this is a really neat thing too, just doing like a handprint on the jelly okay. plate, right? Because that can be something interesting for a collage, you know, because has anybody ever like handprinted the sidewalk in front of their house? I mean, it's just sort of a way. Oh, we used to do that with the kids. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So look, here's all the blue ones. Right, all the blue, and then we did the yellow ones. Here's all, so I made them do all. Now they have all of these collage materials, you know, in every color when they're looking for a color. So it sort of helps you organize, look at the, organize yourselves to collage material and be a little bit more free about it. I mean, so here's orange, right? So then they could just use these and cut them up and make something else. And then here's red, right? So we didn't do green yet. We still have to do green. But here's a bunch of the red ones. You know yeah, I mean? I like yeah. And then you just, this is all becomes collage material, right? So theoretically, if I could give you guys an assignment for today, I would like you to make, um, I would like you guys to look at a magazine or find a picture of a person, right? And do and add some of these jelly plate prints or other collage materials to that person to maybe put, um, you know, like houses around her or on her head or in her head, right? Or in her hair, you know, something that represents sort of the body. So the body could be um, like the pedestal, you could be like holding the house up like literally like this, have you ever felt like this? Like you're holding your house up over your head or that the house is squashing you. You remember that famous, where did you get, where did we see that? What movie did we see a house squashing somebody? Oh, Wizard of Oz. Yes, you win the $50,000 question, woo! <laughs> yeah, who did, who did the house fall on? The Wicked Witch of the, is it the Wicked Witch of the West? <laughs> yes, absolutely. The house fell on her. She was bad. She was mean. Yeah. But that's such an interesting like, I think concept, you know? Yeah. Right? It's like, okay. Yeah. I think it's funny. All right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and her so, feet hanging. <laughs> yes, the feet yeah. hanging. So what I'd like to do for the rest of today yeah. is meet with people individually for a couple minutes um and you guys so who we can make a little order of everybody so um diane you could go first sue ann hamina ruby betty lynette i don't know if edwina is still here so um basically you guys can just mute yourselves um and then diane and i will talk for five minutes and then i'll switch over and then next week what i'd like to do is everybody share everybody's going to share a collage, right? So you have one more week to kind of finish one up. And then after next week, I'm going to need to go uh, to collect one, right? So one of the collages has to go mm -hmm. to the art center or the senior center, get dropped off there in a bag or, um, you know, wrapped up in newspaper or whatever with your name on it for Leah. And I'm going to go pick them up, okay? Because I'm going to put them all together and make one final piece of artwork out of all of our collages. Well, Leah, anybody? Yes. What, where would you, do, uh, are they going to display them later? Yeah, or they're going to, well, right. So I'm paid by New Cortland. So the pieces usually end up going in the New Cortland Senior Center, which I think is on Germantown Avenue. 
sometimes they go in the one i i mean that's where my last piece went that i made um two years ago so it went into the new Cortland. so what i'll do is i'll take all of your boards and i'm gonna glue them together on a bigger board so it'll be like a grid and i might put it together i might put them together in a house i might put all the rectangles as the base and then maybe build a roof and a background out of jelly plate prints mm -hmm. so, so you guys could submit extra jelly plate prints that you did um and one board does that make sense yeah so i was thinking about that i was thinking and i can kind of draw i was thinking that i would do put everybody's together as a rectangle and then put a triangular roof on it and then put it on a background so it's going to be kind of like everybody's collages inside a house does that make sense mm -hmm. i like so, that idea that's so nice. and, and and our names will be on it too yeah, it's gonna yeah, it'll list everybody's. I mean, it'll be a collaborative piece, and it'll have each of our names on it, and I'll have oh. a piece in it too. So each of our pieces will be like bricks on the wall, right? Oh, cool, cool. Hi, yeah. Leanne. Okay. Who determines whether where the the piece of art goes? That's a good question. I think that's a Genevieve question. Oh, okay. I think that's a Genevieve question, but that's a good one. I mean, I wanted to go to your place, so you get to. See yeah. Me. I yeah. know. Well, tell her you yep. want it. Tell her you want well, it. Well, that's that's. I think that's something that you need to mention to her. I will. I'll, I'll try to find out. Yeah, because I think the members would like to see they work here. I agree. They they won't get there. They don't rarely get to go up Germantown. Yeah, right. Well, um, I'll make sure that everybody gets a picture or a car a card of the piece when it's finished, and then hopefully that can be displayed uh, on Allegheny because that's closer to my house too. You mean you mean down you're, here on you're on Allegheny? No, we no. have uh, five oh nine Center oh, City. You're on Broad Street. You're on Broad Street. Okay, right. okay. Where you were at? Oh, right, 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 right. I was at Allegheny, the other one too. But okay, I'll see, make sure I'll ask her about Broad Street. How do y'all feel about that having it down here? Right, the members. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. That would be nice. <laughs> now it's interesting some places will have it shown for a month and then they'll move it to another center and have it there for a month you know things like that um it's, yeah i think it should just stay i think it should just stay well yeah i'll ask genevieve see if she has any information she might not even know at this time so mm -hmm. um but i'm hoping to have the piece finished by the end of march so, you know, you guys have next week's our last class, and then you have about a week to get it to the center. And then hopefully I can collect them okay. at the end of March and put it together. Yes, it's difficult to get up to uh, Germantown Avenue. No, you don't have to get to Germantown Avenue. Can you get to Broad okay. Street? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just need Same to in the city. Yeah, that, that we were talking about where the art when it was finished would go, but to deliver your pieces, you're just going to go to your oh, yes. center, I'm, which no. is mm -hmm. okay. I mentioned that the days that y'all do come in for ceramic, one of them days y'all could bring it in. Oh, yes. I yes. think, you know, uh, on Friday or either Wednesday, you know, so I, I mentioned that y'all come in, you and Miss Betty comes in on ceramics. So one of them days you can leave your artwork here. Oh, okay. That'd be great. Okay. okay and then just make sure your name is on it so um that i know it's yours and then as soon as as soon as uh i'm gonna probably pick them up like april fir first april first is a friday i could probably come on that monday uh after the, the after the first second third i can probably pick them up monday april 4th so if everybody could deliver them on april fool's day that's the first that would be great Okay. 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 So April one. All right. So um, Diane, I'm going to do your meeting. So this is Diane, and then I'm going to go. So you guys stay right on there. So all right, go ahead. It's your individual five minute meeting. So talk to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Did you have any questions or things that you wanted me to look at? Just with just mm -hmm. on your artwork do you have any um 
Well, I do have, I'm, I like the idea that you just had today about the, the face and the house. Um, I made one with a house. Uh, I, ma I made a um, collage with the face, uh, just the uh, facial. But uh, I like the idea of doing something with the with the house and a face, but with some with a musical note background because okay. there's, I love music and my husband used to work for the Philadelphia Orchestra. Okay. And uh, music is a big part in this house. It's a big big part of this house, and I I usually do a show on Friday nights. I do an oldie show with somebody on an internet station where I take requests. Okay. So oh, I was thinking of putting some stuff like that, like a jukebox, you know, stuff that is in my house and in my head. Right. Yeah. So it's very metaphoric and art to use the the mouth and the jaw of a, of a face and then to build the all of the sort of elements as if we're looking inside of our brains of all the things in our lives that have affected us that we're interested in and put those in in the circle. Right. Okay. So that's it. And I, and I love the way that artist, do you want me to go back to the artist for a second? Yeah. I love the way that artist um, used the circle, right, as the background too. Yeah, I like so that's that. A, that's a frontal, that's a frontal view. So the lower jaw and the mouth. I mean, and you could find an image like that anywhere in a magazine. Yeah. Um, you could draw it, you could take a photograph of yourself yeah there. this is the profile so this is the profile and then basically from here up and all the background is things you know that are abstracted that can represent you know thoughts or experiences i know and i love that design i love that sort of like the circle i like the solid color Circle. I like the solid color and that black that goes around the edges. That's nice. Yeah. So you can yeah. you can paint your panels black. I think I gave everybody some black paint. You can yep. do a background paint color. You could paint the circle and then collage on the circle. So you could draw Excellent. the circle and paint it, or you could make cut the circle out of paper and then collage on it. All right. Okay. Great so idea. I'm, forward to, I'm glad. I, I like that idea too. I thought that was really yeah it's really cool thank you Leah. okay all right great thank you okay so sue ann you're up next did you have any questions or anything that you wanted to share with me or ask me about yeah, and can help um, you one-on-one -on -one? i went on this um little mini vacation this place um called the Corollaville Hotel and I cut it out. Oh, nice. I'm like, the, the fly and I put it on one of my- Oh, I love it. Yeah. I'm, I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a person on, um, on there too. Yeah. And she's the person I found in the scene. Awesome. Um, I also have- uh, in my, uh, that's that's my grandmother, my grandfather, and us, us as little kids. Okay. That's a picture of a photo. And then um, here's a picture of, of all us little girls, of my sisters when we were little. And here's a picture of my dad. Um, okay. Upside down. Are you going to yeah, put just all some pictures that was working? Can you make them smaller? Okay, well, can I? Yeah, maybe make something because that's say? maybe can you shrink those the people of like the pictures of your family members? Can you shrink them down to make them smaller? Do you have a Xerox machine okay. that you can use the size or the library um, Xerox machine? I have a there's a FedEx that has a Xerox machine next to me. I could see yeah. if they could do something. Yeah, right. if they can. Because I think that that's a lot of content for one collage. It's a lot of things. But if you're if you had all the people smaller, it kind of represents sort of so many things about life. You know, where we're sort of large in our own minds, but like we're just ants on the planet, right? Because there's so many people on the planet. It's like that kind of relationship too, and also about memory, right? Like that memories kind of come and go, and there's sort of precious right they're sort of small 
impressions. That could be interesting to play around with the scale of the different things. And also I like that the house is kind of small, even though it was a vacation spot for you guys, you know? Yeah. That's just me. Actually, I went last week for like three days. Oh, nice. Myself. This past week, you know, a little vacation. Oh, I also found this really cool picture and magazine that I have. Uh-huh. Of I think it work work something, work that into parts of that into a collage somehow. Okay. Oh, I love that. That's a city. Is that what city is that? Is that Chicago? I don't know. I don't know. I just tore it. I just cut the um I cut the name of it out of it. I just threw it away. I don't know. Yeah, but that would be a great background. Mm -hmm. That's a great background picture. And then you can put people or houses on top of it or something to make it personal, right? Here's the thing. When we first started this, we did all the stuff with the brayer and the um on the the um the jelly, jelly plate. Uh -huh. So I kind of made backgrounds. I just I did all my I did all stuff on all my pieces of wood, you know, they all have stuff on them. So I'm gonna it's have a, to just put stuff over stuff that I already did. Oh well, yeah, or cut it out so you can see the background. Cut, cut the pieces down, cut pieces out of them. I'm always cutting my, like look at my collages. So look, I put, I cut my, wait, Sue Ann, I'm gonna show you something. I cut my- Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Hold on. Oh, uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I cut my stuff out. So like if I'm using a figure, I cut her out so that there's okay. so that I, I cut around the outside edge. So I don't use pictures in there. Oh, uh, now they're not on here. Well, even like this I'm one, sure just it, even this one, do you see how like the flat, like I cut her out. I cut her body out so that I could use um, the flowers as a background, right? Okay. So I cut, so I always like to kind of layer my collage elements. So see how like she is on top of this jelly plate print pattern, right? So it's kind of like there are mm -hmm. two contrasty environments where it's like the figure and then the texture. And then you could add the texture yeah, back. Yeah. Again, it's like you could overlap it too. You know what I mean? So if you have jelly plates underneath and then the images that you want go on top and then you could put jelly plate, like bubble, like other things on smaller. So you're working on scale too, right? So that's why finding, that's why I was saying about shrinking the people down, then you can use your jelly plate backgrounds, put a couple buildings on there and then the little people, right? So that you have a little bit more scale separation. Okay. Right. All right. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Good work. I'm happy for you. All right. So, uh, Hamina, do you want to meet with me? Yeah. Okay. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. So the question that I have, well, I kind of have a few questions. The first Hi. one is, do we need to use all of the material that you gave us, like, um, into the collage? No. Okay. All right. No, it's not um, like you have to use everything. I mean... I kind of thought that everybody would be making work when I demonstrated different techniques and then they could use any of the pieces that they made in their collages, plus any other pieces that they've made. So no, there's no like list or checklist about how many people, no, no checklist. Okay, okay. Um, and then the other thing is that, so for the, because I'm not really liking how they're coming out. I feel like they're very like, messy and they don't make any sense so I still have one of the the canvas that you gave us like without uh -huh. anything so okay. I think I'm going to use that to create like a final piece that I actually want to send um and so and I was wondering if like like how can I go on about like making sure that it's organized so that I don't really like mess it up because also I also don't have like a lot of materials here with me since mm -hmm. I moved here in January and all of like the things that you know I can consider home or stuff like that are actually like back at home and not here with me 
Um, so well, you could use words like that. You could use text in replacement mm -hmm. of the actual thing. You could you know, describe the thing in words and write it down and then cut shapes out of it. I mean, there's so many ways. Um, I think that's one of the things about art that's so beautiful is that it doesn't have to be an exact replica of the thing. Mm -hmm. That's why art enables you to sort of be creative and remake it in its own way. So you could describe the thing that you're missing and then write it down and like we talked about the asemic writing do you remember that mm -hmm. well you could use the asemic writing and be describing your house like my house was white it was on a street it had a blue door it was two floors you know we had a dog we had a driveway you know like it was in a neighborhood with row you could write all that stuff and nobody needs to actually read it because mm -hmm. it's gonna have meaning to you and that's sort of part of the beauty of making art is that art is in the eye of the beholder. It's really about you and your feelings and what people get from it is up to them. Okay. You know? And don't worry if it's messy, maybe that's your style. Like you don't know, you know what I mean? Like who's, to, who's saying that you're saying that, are you being self-critical and why mm -hmm. are you being self-critical? You know, like, what is okay. that? Is that helping you? Is being critical helping you? It's like, no, it's just making you insecure, right? So mm -hmm. you don't need to be, you know, you're just telling your story and however it comes out is fine. I'm, it's not about judgment. Okay, all right, makes and sense, thank you. There's no right and wrong with art, girl. <laughs> it is thank what you. you make it, right? Yeah. You're the creator and it is a reflection of whatever you're going through at this moment. And maybe your life is a little messy right now, <laughs> you know? That happens. All right, thank okay. you. Thank you, I'll look forward to seeing your work next week. Okay, so I think uh, Ruby, you could go next or Betty. Oh, Ruby, you're next. Okay, do you have any questions for me? Uh, speaking of the house. Yes. I don't, I don't understand, you, you mean make a house and put things in the house or what? Oh, no, I'm going to make, I might make something. No, you don't worry about, just worry about your piece, whatever you're feeling. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Okay, so. You guys are going to give me boards, right? You're, you're going to give me a, everyone's working on the same size board. You're all going to give me boards. I might do something with the boards. I haven't figured out. I might construct, I might put them in a rectangle is all I'm trying to say. Okay, so each one's supposed to bring one board. Each person needs to submit one of the boards. Yeah, you can pick whichever piece that you've made from, you could pick your first piece that you made or the, or one that you're going to make this week. Okay. Right. Yeah, it doesn't, it's up to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, do you have any questions about any of the materials that I gave you or anything about constructing the collage or contents? Yeah, I just wanted to know, I didn't, I wasn't sure that the paint would work on the tablet that you gave me. Yeah, the, te the newsprint, paint works great on the newsprint. I love paint on the newsprint. Yes. And the ink works well on there too. I mean, newsprint is a pretty versatile paper. It's pretty nice paper. Okay. It's very inexpensive and very easy to use. And I like it because it's very easy to glue. Yeah. I don't like the thick, I don't like to glue the thicker papers because they get all those air bubbles and they never lay flat and they, don't cooperate. So I like to use rice papers, newspapers, uh, magazine papers, and newsprint mm -hmm. for collages. Uh, yeah, that wrapping paper. And yeah. wrapping paper. Love wrapping paper. You use glue to glue it down with? Yep, I use that PVA glue that I gave you and, I, and the foam brushes. Okay, can you paint over it after you put it down? Okay. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Yep. And you can paint over any of these papers with that craft paint I gave you. And you can roll the brayer over the collages. Like I think even Sue Ann was saying that she made a bunch of collages with the jelly plate prints. But if you don't want to use all of them, you can paint right over them again with the craft paint. If you wanted like to do a circle or um, a shape behind another collage, you could paint over the jelly plate prints with the craft paint. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Of course. 
Okay, um, Miss Betty or Miss Lynette, who wants to go next? Miss Betty, how are you doing? Are you muted? I think you're muted. Are you sitting in front of the house? I still can't hear you. Now? I hear you now, yep. Oh, okay. How are um, you? I have been having them all. I, oh, okay. I have did, I'm on the fifth board and my board is, um, here. Oh, it's nice. Oh, I it's, love it. Where'd you get the shiny paper? I, out of a frame. I love it. I love the shiny paper. Okay. Okay. So it's um, the yeah. rectangle thing, the big in the middle. That uh -huh. is the stage, like a dance hall. Oh, and this perfect. Is the stage. Nice. So that's in the building. Oh, that's gorgeous. Can you hold it up? Yeah, it's there? not finished yet. You gotta hold it up. Hold it up again for us, Miss Betty. Okay. Oh, so pretty. I can feel the stage. I can feel the show. It looks like a rock concert. I can't see. Can you make her big? Leah? Can anybody? She, oh, yeah. Hang on. Is she not big for you? Yeah, hang on one second. One second. Yeah, she's big for me, but hold on. I'm the host. Let me see if I can make her bigger. I'm going to make you bigger, Miss Betty. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to be the biggest. There is she bigger now? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's really pretty. Yeah, and I love That's the faces really behind pretty. there. I love the colors, too. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Well, it's not finished. Okay. I'm having a blast. Oh, good. So, Do you have any questions for me? I have used everything but the um, but the bottle with the uh, ink in it. You gotta um, use the ink. You gotta get a straw. Get a straw. And blow the ink around. It's super fun. Make a tree. You gotta make a tree for me. Okay, I'll do something. I'll use, use a it. straw. You can use a straw. You could use a fork. I'd be actually just um, stuck a fork in the little jar and then just drew with the fork. It's nice to use um, odd our objects as paint, you know, as art tools. So uh, okay. You could put I'm a okay. piece of spaghetti in there. You could use a pencil in there, a paintbrush. I used the pencil already. Wow. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. All right. You have any questions? Are you good? I'm good. Okay. So next week, you all can present one of your pieces. Okay. So next week, we'll all present and we'll talk about, we'll do a little wrap up. I think I have one more person to talk to. I think I have Lynette. And if um, Edwina wants to talk to me, I don't know if she's gone. She might be gone. Let me see. All right, here you go. Miss go okay. Oh, good. Hang on. Oh, wait. All right. Um, I don't really have anything to show today. Do you have any I'm, questions? I'm not, I'm not happy with with um, my work today it didn't uh, why i love it i love the house on the right i like the trees they like, lift it up a little bit so i can see a little bit more what don't you like about that i love that my trees i'm <laughs> good with making trees well you know what you could do to make some trees which is real nice is do you have any sponges at home yeah, yeah. cut up a sponge cut up a sponge into four parts and then uh -huh. get some of your green green paint and use that walnut ink. Use that walnut ink to just make a tree trunk and then wait till it dries and then take green paint and just paint the tops of the trees with the sponge. Have you ever oh, done okay. that? So that you don't have to try to draw all the leaves, you know? It's like it's too, and you've got enough detail on there. So just take the sponge, you can cut it in a circle, but it's hard, it's hard on your hands to cut a sponge as a circle or just cut it into little squares and then just get a bunch of different greens and just draw a straight line and then make some green around the top and you'll do great. Oh, all right then. Okay, perfect, Thanks. awesome. All right, I'll look forward to seeing that next week. All right. All right, okay. good job. All right, Miss Edwina, do you have any questions for me? <laughs> Are you I have still a here? lot of questions. Oh, <laughs> well, which one? I don't, I just got lost, so. Um... Well, you Everything you missed last week with the with the walnut ink, and I can show you real quick what we did. Real quick, I'll show you. So we and you missed I, our. 
we talked about vantage points. We, so I think the, with the walnut ink, so what I did was I made, I made a collage that was fairly what I would consider rough or like a rough outline. Uh -huh. yeah. And then I used the walnut, I used the walnut ink to draw, um, to make it like a fine, to draw a line. So the, the house, this was just like a bunch of rectangles. Uh -huh. And then what I did is I used the walnut ink to just kind of give it this outside line, right? So you could draw a line anywhere and define it, right? So that was like a top layer that I could use the walnut ink. You could also use the walnut ink to write some words. And I think Hamina talked about that today. Like mm -hmm. she said she's missing pictures because she's not living at home. So I said, well, like write down what the words that describe the pictures, right? So if you don't okay. always have what you need, you can use something else to replace it that might have a same feeling. I'll see you tomorrow, Jaya. Have a great night. Thanks for coming to say goodbye to me. Right. And then we also talked about vantage points. So perspective, perspective drawings, which I can upload those videos to YouTube. Okay. But um, yeah, did you like, did you see the slideshow we did today? Yes, I did. Did you like the figurative work? I wanted to see if people could maybe put some, um, maybe the idea of putting themselves or something that represented them their femininity or um, they're a woman or people in with the house or even stuff that kind of re resembles, you could go through a home, like a home magazine, like and put all magazine. kinds of, all kinds of stuff in there, right? Like this one reminds me of, you know, I don't know, stacks of plates, you know, from the kitchen and all kinds of hoses and stuff yeah. that are hooked up to my washing machine. I mean, there's so many parts of our homes that we could focus on, you know, whether we're focusing on it metaphorically or in actuality, right? Well, I think this one's hilarious the with the hair. I think this picture with the hair is too funny. So what could you use yeah. for hair? You could use yarn. I didn't give everybody yarn, right? But you could use yarn or string and attach it to the outside of the house, right? And that would be basically like personifying the house, right? You could add braids. I mean, whatever it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. That, this is what I was talking about, the house that you was talking about just now. Mm -hmm. You saying we make a house? That that was what I was asking about before. I was saying that you need to make a house. No, when you showed the house just now. Oh yeah, the one with the hair. You want us to make something like that? Is that is that what you? No, about? I was just giving you ideas. I mean, if you like, if it speaks to you, you could make something like that. Mm -hmm. I I was thinking today we were going to talk about. Um, home and our physical bodies and how maybe people connected, you know, the human figure and the house. So that's where I came up with the idea of adding hair or adding a mouth, right? Or some feature that was human, right? To our images of houses that we've already been working on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was sort of my last big idea before our last class, which is next week. Okay, so um, I'm going to run and I'll see everybody next Monday and yeah. um, I'm going to make a, a collage to share and hopefully everybody will make one last one and then if you need help picking which one is your favorite that you want to submit or blah 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 we can work on that too okay. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, have fun collaging. All right. Okay, okay. make our creative. Thank you. All right, bye. 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 bye, ladies. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye.